Another perfect example of why women do not belong in politics. We have here at Zero Hedge, Boston on the brink as millennial mayor pushes decriminalization. This is a few days ago, May the 30th. Um, <clears throat> Boston's 39-year-old mayor, Michelle Wu, wants to follow in the footsteps of San Francisco, Philadelphia, Seattle, Denver, New York, and other liberal strongholds. Where property crimes, including grand larceny and motor vehicle theft, I've seen a sharp increase in recent years. And it goes down through here. I'm not going to read the whole article, but charges to be declined. It says here, zoom this thing in here so you can read it a little bit better. Um, trespassing, no longer criminal in Boston. Shoplifting, including offenses that are essentially shoplifting but charged as larceny. Larceny under $250. Disorderly conduct. Disturbing the peace. Receiving stolen property. Minor driving offenses, including operating with a suspend, suspe suspended or revoked license. A little spelling issue there. Breaking and entering. No longer criminal in Boston. Where it is into a vacant property where it is for the purpose of sleeping or seeking refuge from the cold and there is no actual damage to property. Squatting, in other words. You can go and squat in people's homes. Wanton or malicious destruction of property. Threats excluding domestic violence. Minor in possession of alcohol, drug possession, drug possession with intent to distribute. So drug dealing and getting drugs is just no longer criminal, apparently, according to this satanic devil. A standalone resisting arrest charge, i.e. cases where a person is charged with resisting arrest, and that is the only charge. Uh, so you can do resisting arrest now. A resisting arrest charge combined with only charges that all fall under the list of charges to decline to prosecute. Um, example given there, resisting arrest charge uh, combined only with a trespassing charge. So, in other words, if you get charged with one of these and, and the police officer comes over and you, you know, is trying to talk and you resist the arrest or something because, you know, I guess you shouldn't be arrested for crimes anymore, then, you know, you can basically rough up the police officer, resist them or whatever else. And, you know, see, these satanic people like this, um, they have no business being in charge of anything. I did a video years ago right here, Janet Mills proves why women should not be politicians, and I get into all the scriptures and everything else, but I'll give you one of the really good scriptures here. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12, As for my people, children are their oppressors, oppressors and women rule over them. O my people, which, O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Don't tell me the Bible's not relevant for today. Women rule over them. Terrible mistake there, here in the state of Maine, and um, terrible mistake here in Boston. And so my advice to you, if you are in one of these liberal cities, is um, what uh, the Lord and the, sent the two angels in to Lot in Sodom, and they said, um, come out. <laughs> come out from among them and be separate and touch not the unclean thing. Get out of these cities. Um, I wouldn't go near Boston. With this type of a thing you know i mean it's i'm almost 10 years older than she is too which is really weird to think about as you get older you know you start to realize people in politics or in whatever else they're younger than you it's kind of a huh you know <laughs> lived all my life you know these people are always older than me and now they're younger than me getting to that point here i'm tipping over the hill i guess or something but just this nation is falling apart and um quite frankly I think Christians should get out of the cities uh, as quickly as possible and then just step back and let God judge the wicked cities. And yes, God does judge right now. Uh, people out there say, oh, God doesn't judge things in this dispensation. You're quite ignorant. So that is going to be it. Um, just crazy. Uh, we are living in some very dangerous, very deadly times. And uh, stand by the book, stand by the King James Bible, and uh, don't compromise and say, well, I just have to live here. It's not going to be that bad. And No, it's going to be war zones, uh, literally, eventually, I believe. So that will be it. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.